What is up everyone? This is Karen here. Welcome back again to Tech Karen YouTube channel. Let's just talk about something different here. I'm going to share with you my experiences and my favorite things about favorite features which I use on my device and right now which customer I'm using. Let's just talk about that a little bit. Make sure to watch this video. Till then, let's get started. If we talk about the features and my favorite features, as expectedly, I will tell you to install Android 11 for sure. Android 12 is good, it's great, but right now, while making this video, Android 11 is still good if you want to use your device as your daily driver and you don't want to use a stock ROM. In my case, I don't want to use stock ROM. I need a good stability, good performance, and good customizable custom ROM. So that is why I was using this Android 11 based C R Droid. Yes, I'm using C R Droid here, which is actually one of the most customizable rooms out there and using kind of old version and actually quite satisfied with this version so far if we talk about the features which i want in a custom home and already present is the first one is called this is which is called a hidden and protected app which means app hiding and app lock both of the features are already present by default in the default launcher this is great this room includes app lock this room includes face unlock of course but this is one of my favorite one that you have the hidden and protected apps feature available which is available in only few of the default launchers out there it also supports the icon pack so if i need to use some custom icon packs like what i'm using right now is the delta icon pack you can use that freely available on the google play store you can go and download that if you want to very simple only 11 mb maybe 19 mb i'm not sure about that you can even customize icon sizes etc and some bit of extra things if we don't need that normal at a glance thing if you don't want that you can disable that and you can use custom widgets if you want to very good thing you can customize a lot of things in this one this is what and this is why i'm using this because this custom called c Android right now on my device and the device is redmi note 9s app lock was of course available with the default launcher for sure but you have the face unlock available which is unfortunately while making this video it's not available in all the android 12 based custom homes no custom home includes this face unlock yet but i also don't use face unlock so i'm not going to talk about the face unlock but if you need app locker and that's not available in the default launcher then you can also use this insecurity options which is available in most of the custom homes talking about android 11 only the feature which I always use in almost all the customers is called Wake On Plug. Turn the screen on when connecting or disconnecting a power source. Maybe a very minimal thing and most of the users just don't think about this but I always use this feature. I always turn on this feature in all the custom rooms. I just want to let you know about this one. If you found this feature helpful make sure to like this video for sure. This is a very helpful feature of course whenever your device has power source. One more thing which I always use on my devices or the default things or custom rooms is the battery stats reset option. The battery stats plays an important role and if I want to check out that how much screen on time I am having or not, you can simply reset the stats and sim like lineage OS or maybe even in normal pixel experience edition custom rooms, you don't have this option. I'm not talking about that this custom room has all the features but I'm talking about the features which I use on my devices so yes this is also one of those that even reset the battery stats at a certain point at a certain level for example i have charged my device to 40 percent and i want to check out the screen on time from this time i can simply reset the stats right now and that might be very helpful for me but it's just my opinion of course Talking about other customizations or features, as C Android is one of the most customizable rooms out there. So yes, it has all the customizations. Talking about the some status bar things which I use on my device is called battery style related customizations. If you have other battery styles, you can enable those options and battery percentage most of the times will be enabled. Other thing, Volti icon customizations. Yes, in some custom rooms, you have the Volti icons present. In some custom rooms, we don't have. But in few of the custom rooms, you have the Volti icon customization that how your Volti icon will look like and in this custom room this feature is present and this is what I always use on my device I have other options available I can use whichever Volti icon I want to use I have the OnePlus Volti icon I have the Vivo Volti icon Asus Volti icon I can choose any one of these uh, I like the Volti icon maybe number three that was quite good which I had enabled previously other things display 
4G icon in signal icon. I need that 4G icon instead of LTE icon. So yes, I use this feature of course. Network traffic monitor sometimes I use, sometimes I don't. And you also have the clock and date customizations too. In quick settings, what I like to customize is the rows and columns only. Most of the times other things are present, but I don't use those things much. I only customize rows and columns. Including that, this feature is most commonly used, maybe called data usage. And I think so most of the users will use this thing called daily usage to track that how much data you are consuming in your device. This is quite helpful. And it's available in MIUI custom MIUI rooms by default. And it's available in some of the custom rooms. Other things are just kind of customizations, not some major features. The data usage is actually a feature, so that's why I use that. Other things are kind of same brightness, slider, etc. Kind of a customization based things. And if you want to customize, then you can customize the lock screen customizations to lock screen here, which means you can customize some things. I don't customize most of the things on lock screen things, but you can see fingerprint authentication vibration and fingerprint error vibration. This is quite useful. Other things you can display weather on lock screen if you want to. It's up to you. Sometimes I use this thing too and sometimes I don't. It's up to you if you want to use it or if you don't want to use it. It's not a major deal. Lock skin does not have major customizations for you. You can even also change the charging animations. This is called a customization. This is not called a feature. And customizations only available in the customizable rooms. Navigation bar, if you use gestures on your device or if you use the navigation bar buttons on your device, then you still need these customizations. Let me show you if you move on to the system navigation settings and if you have enabled the gesture navigation, you have the option to hide the navigation bar pill, which I most of the times hide or sometimes I simply would use that pill and use a small nav bar keyboard pill magisk module to simply enable that pill but simply decrease that size decrease that space behind the keyboard and that option is also present for me but sometimes i use without pill so yes there are no major issues but quite useful thing if you use device for advanced reboot things for example if you want to flash some modes in recovery etc then you need advanced restart option this is a good feature and that's present in most of the customers i always use this thing and most of the users I'm sure we'll definitely use this thing on their devices or maybe you're using this. Other options, of course, there are a lot of options. Present user interface includes some switch style things or some quick setting tiles, customizations, etc. These are only features, these are only customizations, actually, not features. Some features I've already shown you, and the features which I always use on my devices, according to me, one of my almost those best features I have already shown you. If you want to customize those features, if you want to apply those features, you can. And very simple things I just want to let you know. This is called in call via vibration options which i always use and this is how can i forget about this this is called notification related customizations less boring heads up customizations i always use this thing and if a customer does not have that feature a little bit disappointment for, for me always it also includes gaming mode smart charging options smart charging yes i use this thing right now but not previously but right now i use this thing other options are kind of same about etc kind of same these were things i just wanted to let you know if you like this video don't forget to like and share this if you want to install this build link is in the description of course and if you like this video don't forget to like and share this make sure to subscribe the channel goodbye Like I'm floating through the air